Good morning or hello at any time of day that you're watching uh, CCH Family. My name is Kenna McKee and today I'm going to be in, um, actually I've already been in this Psalms, but I'm back to it. Psalms 37 verses 25 and 26. So let's go ahead and pray. Lord, we just, we thank you for this day. We thank you for... Um, just your ever presence in our lives, Lord. I, I ask that you would just bless everybody watching this today and just help us to remember that you are always with us regardless what's going on. We love you and we thank you for this time. In your precious name, amen. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be in Psalms 37, 25, and 26. And the title of this psalm in my uh, study Bible is The Heritage of of the righteous and the calamity of the wicked and just remembering that and i this is the um, the psalm that talks about do not fret and i've i've been here before and um i think with all the things going on right now i was reading this psalms are just all the time you know there's just a lot of it seems like what's right is wrong and what's wrong is right right now and so when i read this it just blessed my heart and so um so here it goes. Again, Psalm 37, 25 and 26. I have been old. No, I'm starting over. I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. He is ever merciful and lends, and his descendants are blessed. And I just thought that is so true. I'm I'm not super old, but I'm older now. I've been walking with the Lord for about 10 years and it's just, it's such a difference now when, um, maybe tragedy hits or our life issues come up. It's just, we're never forsaken. And this just blessed my heart so much. And so when I read the little, um, in my study, I don't know what these are called, like, a a commentary kind of thing. I just thought it explained it so well. So I'm going to also read that and it's, um, begging bread. These words may be viewed from two perspectives. The hunger of the righteous is temporary and will be replaced by fullness in the days to come. And two, there is a hunger that the righteous never need to suffer. They are never deprived of the Lord's presence. Perhaps this is also a call to help the call to help the righteous when they do suffer hunger in this world. And that's just, I love the Lord so much in his word because he doesn't promise us a perfect, um, happy life all the way through. We know that things are going to come our way. And this is just another promise of his, of him saying, I'm never going to leave you. We're never going to be begging for bread, you know? Um, and he is just, He's always with us and we can believe that and we can trust that because we know him. And, um, so that just, just really blessed me. I don't know when I, I read this, but, um, cause I do like to read the Psalms as I've said in the morning. And so, um, it just touched my heart and I really wanted to share with, with my church family. So I hope that blesses you today, no matter what you're going through, God's there. He's, he's ever present. And I just, I know as I've walked with the Lord, and things come up, it's, there's still a peace. We can be heartbroken and sad or upset, whatever, but we know that God is with us always. And so, um, hopefully that blessed you guys this morning and I will see you next time. All right. I'm going to close in prayer. Lord, we just, we thank you again that you are ever present in our lives. Lord, you never leave us. We never have to bake for bread, Father. Lord, you're so good, and we thank you, and we love you in your most precious name. Amen.